Uh, the strength of a salt solution is p percent if 100 ml of the solution contains p grams of salt. Three salt solutions A, B, and C are mixed in the proportion 1 is to 2 is to 3. Then the resulting solution has strength 20 percent. If instead the proportion is 3 is to 2 is to 1, the resulting solution has strength 30 percent. So A plus 2B plus 3C by 6 is 0.2. 3A plus 2B plus C by 6 is equal to 0.3. Right. Or A plus 2B plus 3 is 1.2. 3A plus 2B plus C is equal to 1.8. Wonderful. With this, we can get some equation in A, B, and C. And then we can start manipulating from there. We can figure something out. Right. What is the question asking us? It says a fourth solution D is produced by mixing B and C in the ratio 2 to 7. D equals 2B plus 7C by 9. We need to find the strength of D to that of A. We need to find D by A. That's what we are looking at. B and C are mixed in the ratio 2 is to 7. So how do we do this? It, it helps to form an equation with A, B and C. So I'm going to equal first up subtract these two the b will disappear 2a minus 2c is 0.6 or a minus c is 0.3 then we'll see if we can eliminate the number part and get the ratio going so we multiply this by 3 and this by 2 so 3a plus 6b plus 9c is same as 6a plus 4b plus 2c. So let's bring the a over to this side and b and c over to this side. So 2b plus 7c equals 3a. This is 2b. 4b, 6b minus 4b is 2b. 9c minus 2c is 7c. 6a minus 3a is 3a. 2b plus 7c equals 3a. Is this giving us something? Is this giving us something? Think about this. 2b plus 7c, we've seen that somewhere. 2b plus 7c sits here. 2b plus 7c by 9 is 3a by 9. Or d equals 3a by 9. Or d is a by 3. We want the ratio d by a. d is equal to a by 3. Or d by a is 1 by 3. 1 is to 3. It's an absolutely wonderful, wonderful question. I must tell you that I look for an intuitive method of solving this. Try to manipulate the mixtures. Didn't go anywhere. Uh, Try to find an equation-based method of solving it. Did not go anywhere. Try to say that the equation method is not going anywhere because we have only two equations, three variables. I'm missing something. So I said the data is missing. It's an incorrect question. It turned out that was wrong. Then said it was not an incorrect question. Try to solve for A, B, and C in terms of the other variables didn't go somewhere. So the, the, the method here is, is, is because we are asked for a ratio between D and A, between B and C in some combo on A, see if you can eliminate the numerical part. You're dealing with a ratio. So if you have a A is C minus 0.3 or B in terms of A and A in terms of C uh, with numbers thrown in, then it's the ratio is going to become very difficult to calculate. The numbers need to go away. So manipulate in some way as to remove away the numbers. Have something to do only with A, B, and C, and then see if you hit get lucky. Uh, in, in 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 the other option, probably a prudent option would be to say we are mixing two mixtures. We're talking about two mixtures in weird ratios, and a fourth two mixtures of three mixtures each, three solutions each, and then a third mixture D produced by mixing B and C. We have too many mixtures, too many percentages and too many solutions we are better off not poking at this question which is should be the best decision for me to take in the exam and i'm, I'm very confident that's a decision i wouldn't have taken so we all live and learn